my else diary I got back from Bo Brown Red Man in the West End and it was a very lovely workshop today we were learning about financial literacy and I'm just really grateful that I got to learn some terminology that wasn't um, um, too ge generic um, I'm thinking I'm talking like like super uh, widespread um, talk this thing and the other thing and this trend and that trend happening online you know what I'm talking about I finally got to learn uh, more about finances from a Canadian perspective so I was just like oh, finally someone's telling me the stuff that I actually need to know in my actual situation so I was just like Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. But yeah. Uh, speaking of prayer, I don't know. I just felt like I wanted to share my opinion on the certain topic that you see in the title, obviously. Um, and yeah, it's it's definitely not um, my typical um, repertoire. I know I. I I, I can talk about really silly things, I can talk about really serious things. Um, but yeah, I felt like this was one of the more, I guess you could say, like miscellaneous topics for me. But nevertheless, I just feel kind of led to talk about it anyway, even though it's not something that I'm personally experienced with. I know there's a debate, and you can already tell like there has been a debate um, going on. Whether, I'm pretty sure like both offline and online you know how important is it to speak in tongues how important is it to preach in, in tongues how important is it to intercede in tongues right and as you can probably tell by now I have never had any experience speaking in tongues praying in tongues so on and so forth um, but I'm just gonna basically give a brief overview about how, how I feel about this whole um, debate, like what's my take on it, you know. Maybe not so much um, debating myself, like with either side, I'm just gonna talk about like how I feel. So, me personally, I actually am subscribed to quite a number of people who are able to speak in tongues and do speak in tongues um, so I think it's safe to say that I personally don't see any harm in it like I don't think it has affected me negatively in any way I don't think it has affected them negatively in any way so um, but yeah it's not to uh, I don't mean to like discourage anybody that you know is kind of against speaking in tongues like at the end of the day you're comfortable with what you're comfortable with you know um but yeah with that being said kind of like on the flip side i don't really have like a very extreme opinion about this but yeah in my opinion i don't think you have to speak in tongues or like have that ability to speak in tongues in order to have a close relationship with the most high you know, in order to speak with God the Father, Holy Spirit, Jesus, you don't, I don't think it's mandatory. That's how I feel about that. Um, however, at the same time, if, if, if God specifically, you know, gives you directions to you personally that like, yeah, you have the okay, um, you have the permission, you have the green light to speak in tongues like please do speak in tongues like if you can if if god does tell you specifically you know it's just like honestly like by all means right like that's up to you at the end of the day right um but again like i'm not pushing for either side it's just you know but with that being said i think you know, before you even like venture into this topic, if this has been something that you've been thinking about, 
I think that's the most important thing to consider uh, prior to even like diving into this topic altogether. Um, it's super important to really consider, you know, spiritual discernment and grow in spiritual discernment first, right? Because at the end of the day, you know, all of our relationships like with the most high in, in essence like is parental, right? So there are going to be like variations like from person to person, let's com be completely honest, because which makes sense though because you know God knows the ins and outs for every single one of us, right? So he's going to know how to speak to you specifically, he's going to know how to speak to me specifically, right? Um, so yeah, that, I think that's the most uh, key thing to keep in mind before even like worrying about uh, tongues in general, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, just really seek confirmation from him first. I think that's like the best advice that I can give simply because, again, like I don't have any experience with that, but I, it's just something that kind of stood out to me in the Protestant community. So, um, uh, is there anything else that I want to say before I, before I say good night? But yeah, um, I guess with that being said, at the end of the day, like, I do agree with many people in the community that, you know, each of us, we're gonna have a personalized, uh, language, um, personalized, like, terminology, like, with our creator, right? So, let's say, for example, you're, I know we, we talk about this all the time in society, you know how, like, some of us learn by doing, some of us learn by hearing, some of us learn by, you know, visuals, right? Some of us are the combined. Like, for me, it's definitely on the combined side. It, it depends on, like, um, the stimuli, like, in and of itself, like, what kind of, um, uh, yeah, what kind of vibe am I getting, like, from it, right? Um, is it, is it, like, a legitimate, um, well, what I mean by legitimate, like, is it, like, a sincere, like, intention? Is it something that's, um, something that's applicable, like, to me specifically, you know what I mean? So, yeah, with that being said, like, let's say, for example, some of us can, you know, interpret what God is saying, like, through, like, cues and, like, nature, like, different, uh, kinds of wind or, like, the breeze, you know, can speak, like, through the sunlight, um, can speak through, like, puddles and lakes, uh, the rain, you know, God will know how to speak specifically to you, right? And... Yeah, depending on, you know, who you are, like, God knows how to reach out to you specifically, right? And, yeah, I guess what I'm trying to say also is that, like, I don't want you to feel, like, pressured by, like, oh, if I don't know how to speak, like, an angelic language, if I don't know how to automatically speak a language that I never learned in my life before, that, like, I'm not going to be able to have um, like an actual, uh, conversation with God that he can honor and respect, like, no, 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 I don't want you to ever, like, feel like that, right? If you're comfortable speaking in English, that's okay. If you're comfortable speaking in French, Spanish, like, whatever your first language is, that is perfectly fine. That is perfectly fine because he is going to understand all languages regardless, whether it's, like, a natural language for us, whether it is like in the same languages as the angels and stuff, like he understands it all. So like don't feel pressured either way. You know what I mean? So that's basically what I want to share. I kind of want to like debunk a little bit. And um, yeah, I hope this was helpful to someone. And I guess, like, if you want to discuss another topic, feel free to let me know. Um, yeah, my, my handle is pretty, um, you know, it's pretty visible 
on this corner of the internet and pretty easy to find. It's typically in the description. Um, yeah, just in case that um, you haven't seen it lately, I'll, um, I'll copy paste it down below just in case uh, comments for whatever reason aren't working. And I'll see you in the next Lighthouse Diary entry. So take care and yeah, thank you for stopping by.